Hello everyone, I'm JW Speaker, and I'm glad you could join me for another Ration Review. And today's Ration Review is a very special one, because a year ago today, I started uploading uh, videos to YouTube. And uh, later, after the review is over, I will be doing uh, a giveaway for all of my uh, subscribers to thank you guys all for uh, supporting me. But before uh, we do that... Let's uh, do the review, and uh, the ration I will be reviewing today is a uh, a Russian single meal, or IRP, that was uh, kindly sent to me by Dub C, and it was originally purchased by, or from ForeignMRE.com. They have an uh, awesome website, lots of foreign stuff, some uh, U.S. stuff. All right, uh, this menu or this is a menu seven. Uh, if you haven't seen Dub C's channel, please go and do so. He has an awesome ration review channel. He also uh, does outdoor reviews. He uh, he also reviews camping gear, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, so please go and uh, check his videos out and uh, throw a subscribe on there. Let's see if we can get him to. Uh, over a thousand subscribers all right without further ado let's crack into this i do have to say thank you for sending this to me uh dub c i really appreciate it and i love russian rations and uh i do have to mention this is one that was opened by customs and they took the main but uh art and nina from fornmre.com replaced the main Right away, off the bat, I do smell the uh, the fuel fuel tabs that are inside this. Right off the top, we have our fuel tabs, which, yep, you can smell them. We have our vegetable caviar, I believe. I have no idea what some of this stuff is because I do not have a uh, translator. And I also use my phone to uh, video, so I couldn't use the translator. We have a big 20 gram packet of sugar, which it's usually beet sugar. We have two packets of crackers. We have our replaced main, which is steamed pork. And it's a product of Lithuania, so this should be really good. I'm really excited for this. Yeah. It looks like it has a... It is stewed pork. This should be really good. I'm... Yeah. We have our wipes for our hands and our utensils. We have our apple jam, which the last time I tried a Russian Russian, this was not in, in it. So this should be really good. I've heard uh, a lot of good things about this. I cannot wait to try that. We have a uh, awesome Russian black tea. And then we have our salt and pepper, which this I'm assuming is the pepper and this is the salt. We have a spoon, which is very flimsy and already cracked here, but I have a backup just in case. We have some instructional sheets. It's in uh, Cyrillic, so I cannot read Russian. Interesting. And we have a nice napkin. I think these are the one water purification tab. Neat. The uh, packing number and some other little sheet, which has Cyrillic on it. All right, it looks like a good meal right here. I'm going to uh, pause, get the main into some boiling water, and get everything onto a tray, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I have everything onto a tray, and uh, the main is in some hot water heating up some boiling hot water. 
All right, uh, I'd like to get my the tea uh, started up first. And the, the mug I will be using is this interesting mug. I think it's supposed to resemble a uh, part of a totem pole. It's pretty cool. It's from my uh, grandparents. Open it up. There's a tear notch, there it is. Nice tea bag. It's a nice smell of black tea. To add the hot water, get it steeping, then we'll open the uh, the other stuff. So we can do this without getting it all over the place. Or burning ourselves. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big tea drinker, more so than a coffee drinker. All right, uh, let's get the... I believe this is the vegetable caviar, which I do like a lot. So let's see, let's get this open and see. There we go. And it is the vegetable caviar. Oops. And then we'll replace, try it. Mm. Yeah, it tastes really good. Yeah, look at that. Smells like a uh, very uh, zucchini-rich tomato sauce. It's really, really good. <clears throat> Stick that there. Let's get our crackers opened up. Looks like you get a... Uh, Six in each. I'm only going to be opening uh, one of the packets today. So you get uh, two packets of uh, six each in each packet. So you get 12 biscuits all together. It's pretty good. And then we'll get our apple butter, apple jam, whatever you want to call it, kneaded up and then opened up. There's a tear knot. I see one there. All right, we got that opened up. All right, I'm going to go uh, see if the main's done, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with the, uh, the entree, and it is heated up, and I will get it opened up, and then we'll get it into a bowl. Under pressure a little bit. It's all right. Smells fantastic so far. Look at that. It looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way and get our bowl and then... Dump it out. Looks like it has a lot of juice, which it does. Nice big chunk of stewed pork. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Yeah, look at that, it looks pretty good. Break it up a little. Yeah, can't get it to focus. Here we go, it looks pretty good. It smells pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. So it's not one big piece like um, the Russian rations usually are. It's little pieces of pork into like stewed together. It's pretty good. Kind of salty. Hmm. It reminds me of like 
a pork luncheon meat, like a a better tasting pork luncheon meat. Mmm, really good. All right, let's stir our tea up. We we'll use the uh, the broken spoon. And to eat with, I'm gonna tell you. Obviously, I will be using the more sturdy uh, MRE brown spoon. So we'll give our black tea a stir. Been steeping long enough. Pull out our tea bag. Give our tea a go. And our cool mug. Nice, uh, nice black tea smell coming off of it. Mmm, really, really good. I usually drink my tea without any uh, sugar or cream, and uh, this is really nice. It's not bitter. It's not overpowering. It's very, very nice. Nice mild tea. It's right up my alley. It's probably actually some of the best tea that I've actually uh, come across in a in a ration. All right, uh, what next? Let's try the uh, crackers. Try it by itself. Sorry, guys, I've been having a problem focusing lately, or with my focus. Uh, there we go. Mm, nice wheat crackers. Nothing special about them. It just uh, tastes like it's just flour and water. Pretty good. Really good to soak up the juices here. Put one in there. We'll see how that does. Bury it. There we go. We'll check that boy out later. All right. Let's try it with uh, some of the vegetable caviar on it. Let's give this a mix first, though. Yeah, it looks good. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. The vegetable, or I believe it's zucchini caviar, but the uh, zucchini caviar pairs very nicely with the crackers. Mm. You can taste the crackers when you eat it, and you can taste the... Zucchini, uh, either or doesn't overpower one another. Mm. Quite nice. Going for another bite of our stewed pork. That's pretty good. If I, um... If I got this in the field, I wouldn't be uh, upset about it. It's really good. I would uh, actually be excited because Russian Russians are the best. Mm. That's really good. All right. Let's try our uh, apple, apple jam out. Clean our spoon off. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how dark it is, that looks really good. It smells like apples, really nice. Hmm, wow. That just tastes like pureed apples that are that's stewed down to make the, the apple butter, wow. That's really good. So all the hype about the apple butter is true. This stuff is absolutely delicious. If you haven't tried this or Russian ration, please go and do so. It is worth the money. It really, truly is. Let's try it on the cracker. Come on, focus. Yeah. There we go. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the uh, the apple butter pairs quite nicely with the crackers. Really good. Hmm. I'd like to try something with the stewed pork. I seen Dub C. He added uh, the vegetable caviar to his meat, and I wanted to try that. See how that is. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks good. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? These are made to for each other. That's absolutely delicious eating it that way. This is the way I I su highly suggest eating it this way. Um, this is fairly salty, and adding the vegetable caviar, or the zucchini caviar, whatever you like, uh, it takes the saltiness away. It absolutely balances it out. This is the way to eat it. This just makes the main that much better. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Wow. Absolutely delicious. I think it even brings up the flavor of the pork a little bit more, too. Makes it uh, taste sweeter. It's quite nice. All right. Just want our cracker bit. Ooh, that looks pretty good. All right. In Dub C's honor, since he sent me this ration, I will be doing something he likes to call a megabyte. So we'll get some of that soggy, awesome cracker. Awesome meat, our vegetable caviar, bam, there you go, this is for you Dipsy, thank you my friend, this is an awesome ration, mm-hmm, mm, oh yeah, letting the crackers soak, oh it soaks up all that awesome juice, oh man, like this one was even this is the best ra uh, Russian ration I've had so far. This one was even better than the other, the IRP dash P that I had. Absolutely delicious. Oh man, I really can't thank you enough, Dub C, for sending this to me. Everything was absolutely delicious. I'm really digging this tea. All right, <clears throat> that's it for the review. Um, I will be finishing all of this uh, today. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to pause, clean all this up, and then we'll uh, I'll show you what I will be uh, doing for the give or giving away for the giveaway for the uh, subscribers. Yeah, oh, if you um I will be putting a link to Dubsy's channel in the description part down below. Um so yeah, so you can go check his channel out. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. And uh I will be giving away two 1986 uh, brown bag MREs, menu six Frankfurters with a bean component. Sorry about the glare. The glare on these bags are uh, is really horrible. Uh, and then a 1986 MRE menu number four, beef slices with barbecue sauce. With uh, And they're both produced by the Right Away Foods Corporation. This came out of the uh, the case that I opened up. Uh, yeah, so, uh, let's see, I will also be, um, throwing in some random antiques, like, uh, I think one of them's, uh, uh, a Life Boy bar of soap from 1960, I'll throw that in, and then I'll throw some, uh, some candy and random stuff into the box, too, so you'll be getting these two and then some random stuff, but anyway, um, if you'd like to participate in this, uh, my year uh, giveaway for the subscribers, or a year subscriber giveaway, excuse me. Uh, all you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel, uh, and you have to comment down below on this video. Um, and then in the comment, 
put a uh, speaker S P E A K E R in capital letters. And that'll tell me that you want to participate in the, the giveaway. Yeah. And a week or so from now, I will be doing, I will be pulling the name and, uh, doing the giveaway. So yeah, you have, uh, until like next Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever I upload the video. All right. Uh, wish everybody good luck on the, the contest. And uh, don't forget to uh, put speaker in capital letters so I know that you want to be in it. All right, that's uh, it for the review. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I um, hope everybody stays safe out there, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.